what's up guys thank you for clicking the video uh, if you're a night drive subscriber welcome back i hope you caught my last video about day after drift after i uh, rode atlanta uh, so today it's a pretty simple video we're going to do uh, a little presentation i'm going to start to do a video like this once a week where i'm going to either review uh, an automotive item maybe a tool uh, something that i think is cool um, so this is my first one uh, uh, of those videos so i hope you enjoy it and please subscribe of course if you do and i'll make a lot more of them so First of all, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about a cheap overlay system that gives you good video, an overlay of data, something that you... Thanks, Marty. Everybody loves to upload their cool videos, obviously, and go down their favorite driving roads, around a road course, even a drag strip. So a great thing to add to that video is an overlay showing your RPM, your gear selection, maybe your lateral uh, G-forces throttle inputs. These are things you can learn from, things that you can use to improve your performance in, in the next round, but also to upload to YouTube. And, you know, your friends are like, man, that's that's pretty cool. So a lot of people aren't aware of this system. Uh, I think, you know, it's something that's uh, very affordable. I think anybody can buy it and who doesn't have a phone. So before we get into that, roll that thing. My name is Damian Knight, and I've built cars professionally for nearly 20 years, but I started out homeless at 17 in the murdering streets of New Orleans. My dreams to build fast cars pushed me to build a life from nothing, and 10 years later, I was the head of a multi-million dollar company. But it all went bad. Follow me as I continue my journey through our automotive culture, explore great driving roads, and find my way back into the game on Night Drive TV. All right, so I'm going to put up on the screen the few items that I had to purchase, and it really starts with the OBD link. Um, this is going to be OBD2 compatible vehicles only. If you have pre-OBD or OBD1, some of these things aren't going to work uh, for you, but you can still use the overlay I'm going to show you here shortly. But the OBD link, this is, I think, $59. What this does, does is uh, plugs into your OBD2 port, and there's an app for that. So your phone will synchronize itself uh, through Bluetooth with the... Um, the little device here and it will actually be able to give you a, a like a, a dashboard view of a lot of different gauge outputs and things like that so it's something you can use independently um, but then what you're going to want to do next is you're going to go onto your phone you're going to download the track addict app from hp tuner so with that app what it's going to do is use the data coming from the obd link and that's how you start to get your over, overlay data of rpm throttle input and things like that so what you're going to need besides that is you need uh, a very, like a pretty solid windshield mount. You don't want something weak that's going to let your, your phone bounce around, especially if you have a larger phone like a Note 8 that has some weight to it. Um, so I'm going to show up on screen here. This is the device that I used, and uh, it really works out well. It gives good video output, um, so that's what I would suggest. So the Track Addict app from HP Tuner, I mean, honestly, it's a, it's a really cool app considering the fact that it's completely free. Uh, HP Tuners, if you're not familiar, they really directed themselves initially more to like LSX tuning for GM, but they can, you can tune a, a number of different platforms. But, you know, if you're a DSM guy, Honda guy, you know, you're in a different genre, maybe you have not heard of it and wouldn't be aware of it. So the cool thing about this app is you can basically it, what it's going to do is use the phone's GPS data. It's going to use the OBD link data and the internal sensors of your phone to create all this overlay. And so as you're you know navigating your road course or your point A to point B, it's going to give you a track map that's visible with a position indicator of where your vehicle is. So so there's some upgrades that you can actually add beyond what I've shown you here. And the phone's GPS is typically pretty accurate but you can enhance that accuracy with a GPS antenna. I haven't personally used that antenna yet. Uh, if you're in a tight autocross situation to where your car is going to be passing itself in, in very close proximity on the pavement, you'd probably want a little more accurate GPS signal. But for most road courses and point A to point B, I haven't had any issues. Additionally, it, Track Addict app gives you a, a few different uh, options for overlays, but it will also give you all the raw data. And you can use that raw data if you go to a website called Race Render, and Race Render will allow you a lot more options for dashboard gauge uh, appearances and things like that. So you can, there, there's so much uh, user configuration options that you can put in. I think it's about $40. I'll put it on the screen here. 
Um, I've used it. They have a free demo version that you can use. And uh, I'm going to put up a little video here at the end so you can kind of see. And I did make that race render. If you're a drift guy, autocross, uh, road course, or just a canyon driver, uh, I think you'll want this just to add some flavor to your videos. And I think that everybody kind of enjoys more than just seeing a raw video going down the road around the course. People like seeing the inputs and really what it takes to get the car down the road. And uh, video can tend to slow things down. Um, I've, I've found that if a video is in a windshield or it's on a roof, it's, you know, it has kind of a perspective that's slow. So adding that speedometer and things, I think it adds a sense of speed to the video. So people are like, oh, I mean, he's, you know, he's moving there. So um, I think it adds a quality to the video for that reason. So some additional features of the Track Addict app, aside from being able to obviously upload and have a really good output of, of a video, it can also do a lot of lap timing. So it, it gives you basically using its GPS, it can pinpoint the start and finish line. So it's going to time that lap, it's going to time the next one, and you can do comparisons of lap three to lap one, or actively while you're in the vehicle as you go through each lap if you're ahead of yourself or behind yourself it's going to indicate it on screen and, and if you have a large phone especially something that you can use visually while you're driving if you're going to try a new line or something like that on a road course it is going to act as something to give you kind of like the ghost and in, in Gran Turismo would do so it's a great feature for it and obviously you can learn from your mistakes. You can, you can actually take small sectors and compare them. So if you tried a different line, I mean, it's a, it's a great tool. It's free to download and I encourage you to do it. So this is something I'm gonna do every week. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. I hope you go ahead and uh, try it out for yourself. I think you're gonna be impressed. So knowing some folks are watching uh, through uh, subscribing is obviously motivational for anybody that's making videos. So if you enjoyed the video, Please hit the thumbs up if you can. Give me a subscribe. I'm going to do a lot of these videos, like I said. And we're going to have a lot of content that I'm trying out. I'm talking with a few friends of mine. So we, I want to bring something to YouTube that's just a little bit different than what I've seen. Um, like you, I watch a lot of car videos and a lot of content. And I just kind of feel like, you know what, there's something missing out there that I think I can bring. And uh, so I think you'll enjoy it. So if you can hit subscribe and give me a chance, I'd appreciate it. I think you'll, uh, you'll, you'll be glad you did. So check out my next upload which i'm going to have here in a couple days um it's another one first of its kind and uh so like i said a lot lot going on and i'm doing my best so thanks very much for watching and drive that shit.